the Boston Celtics are back to work with another dominant win to start the second round. I will break game one down right now on another Celtics post-game report. The Boston Celtics Hello, and welcome back to another Celtics post-game report. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Please subscribe to this channel and make sure to like and share this video with others, as well as comment below with your prediction for this round. On today's show, I will talk about the difference between the Celtics and other playoff teams around the league, as well as the game itself. So without further ado, let's get right into it. There's definitely something special going on with Minnesota with the still undefeated Anthony Edwards and the Timberwolves blowing out the defending champs in the Denver Nuggets, especially their defense. But people need to also pay attention to the green machine over here on the East Coast. The Celtics have held the Heat and the Cavs to less than 100 points five out of the six games, and they've won by 20 or more four out of the six times. Granted, the Cavs and the Heat's offense is not quite up to snuff with Denver, and they play an entirely different type of defense than the Wolves. The Wolves are more of a steel-heavy team whereas the Celtics will gladly get up on you and wait out a shot clock turnover, but still impressive. Joe Mazzulla made one of the best decisions of the postseason, and that was to double Darius Garland instead of their best player in Donovan Mitchell. The Celtics figured that Mitchell would get his points one way or another, which he did. I mean, he had 33 points. But Garland could not get anything to fall. I mean, they just harassed him. He went 6 for 15 on field goals. But most importantly, he just got rid of the ball when he saw a man in green coming his way. This sort of defense brings me to my next point on how the Celtics are different than other teams in this year's playoffs. I will talk about that in just a second. Follow the Boston Sports Channel on Instagram to stay up to date on your favorite sports teams in the City of Champions. The Bruins are on a wild playoff ride coming off of that Game 7 overtime victory where David Pashnok scored and that second round blowout win in Game 1 against the Florida Panthers. The Red Sox are chugging along in the early part of their season despite a numerous amount of injuries. And will Drake May play in the first game? of the 2025 season for the Patriots, or will we not see him until later down the road? I will be here all summer covering every sport, so make sure to follow me there. Now let's get into the difference 
between the Celtics and other teams. For every other team in the playoffs, when their top star does not show up, the team will struggle to find ways to win, if there are even any. Jokic had a bad night against the Wolves, and they got blown out by 20. Luka Doncic has had had a bad game against OKC, and they also lost by a good margin. But this is not the case for the Boston Celtics. Jason Tatum is struggling right now to put the ball in the basket. We all see this. He took 19 shots last night and only scored 18 points, including free throws, which don't count as shots. Could this hurt them, him down the road? Sure. But what matters right now is what I've talked about all season. When one player is injured or not playing well, another steps up. Something that other teams don't have the luxury of. One, this takes the pressure off of JT, which lets him rest. Don't worry, we'll need him to step up and score 30 po plus points eventually. But right now, he is more than happy to just sit back and let Jalen Brown and Derek White go to work, which I am totally fine with. JB had another terrific first quarter to open up the game with 15 points, which led right into Derek White's onslaught from three. He made seven out of 12 three-pointers in this one. He is actually the only player to ever score more than 20 points in three consecutive playoff games after being the fourth leading scorer during the regular season. If D. White keeps this up, who needs Tatum until at least the Eastern Conference at the earliest? I expect Tatum to snap out of this funk soon though. One of these games against the Cavs, he will show up with another monstrous triple-double. There's not much more to say about this game as the Celtics dominated from tip to buzzer. So this brings us to the end of this post-game report. I will be back with another video after game two on Friday. In the meantime, check out my website by going to yourcelticsource.com. Link is in the description. Until next time, go Celtics.